I welcome everyone to today's class. This is Angel Rafael James Tutor's word. Uh, please, if today is your first time of uh, watching this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Okay, you can like and share on our Facebook page. Okay, this is Angel Rafael James Tutor's. Um, this is science world entirely the science world so we'll do more of mathematics physics and chemistry so today we are looking at chemistry class for today and um, uh, what we have on the board there this is a wire 2021 chemistry practical okay so how to dilute our acid the four titration that is volumetric analysis proper so um join me in our world so we'll look at how to dilute our acid okay before um before titration okay so i'll be taking them i'll be taking the one after the other okay so i'll urge you to always look at our videos okay look at our videos our facebook page and um, our youtube page please like and share and subscribe to our youtube channel thank you very much and uh, i will make sure that we we'll give you every update and everything you need to know in the world of science thank you very much okay today we'll be looking at how to dilute our acid okay so this is our concentrated HCl, um, highly concentrated, okay, and um, this is my distilled water, okay, this is my measuring cylinder, okay, that is calibrated from 2 to 10 mil, okay, okay, this is my copper sulfate, that is for the salt, that is C, that is for the C, okay, because we're looking at our AN, we're looking at our BN and we're looking at our CN. So I have to, the AN is our acid. Okay, so in what you need to prepare this acid so that so that you can use it for what? For your volumetric analysis. That is your titration. Okay. Maybe in our subsequent class, please I need you to join us. We're looking at how to dilute our base, which is our sodium hydroxide. Okay, but today I will be looking at how to dilute our acid. This is my HCL. This is this is my measuring cylinder. This is 1000 mil. This is 500 mil, okay. This is our distilled water, okay. This is our copper sulfate and hydros, okay. This is our material range, okay. This is my barium chloride, okay, which we use in our C, okay. Like I said, this is our copper sulfate we use in our C, which is for salt analysis. Okay, so I need to join us in our class for salt analysis, which will be more interesting one. Okay, so let's start. Join me as we um, as we dilute our acid. First thing you need to look at is first you carry out the calculation first because the the it was specified it was specified there that we should that we should. Um, we should uh, dilute our acid to three uh, uh, to maybe three or four percent. That is for titration. So you need to dilute your acid. Okay. So we know that we all know that our HCl is thirty six percent concentrated. So I'm going to have uh, I'm going to have thirty six over hundred. Thirty six over hundred times. Okay. Nine. Okay. The nine is. It is already specified by YA that we are going to use it to dilute this acid, which is 9.0 cm cube, okay, over 1000, okay, 1000 times 1000. This 1000 simply means that I'm going to use 1000, I'm going to use 1000 mil, which is a liter of water to dilute this acid, okay. Here, out here, I'm going to have 0 0.36 times 0. 009 times 1000 and then this will uh all of this is going to give me uh 3.24 cm cube so it means that i am going to dilute 3.24 cm cube but getting this directly on the middle cylinder is not actually easy so what you are going to do is either you run up or you run down if you, you can either use three point, you can either you can either take three point zero zero or three point zero zero cm cube, or you take three point three cm cube. But I am going to take, I am going to run it down because two is not up to five. 
So I'm going to run it down to 3.00 cm cube. So this is the volume of the acid I will be diluted, okay? Which is almost up, which is also 3 watt, 3% 3 watt volume out of the 36. So I'm going to be diluting 3.00. And this is the report I'm going to be giving. So I'm going to be diluting 3.3%. But that is 3.00 cm cube. So join me as we dilute our acid. Okay, so first, this is my heating up. So I'm going to use a beaker and take a little quantity. Okay, to take a little quantity. So I'm going to use, I'm going to take my beaker. This is my beaker. I'm going to take a beaker. Okay, and then this is my water collector. This is distilled water. I have to rinse it. Okay, press it very well. Okay, press it very well. Okay, so okay, so I need to cover. I need to cover my nose because this is very very corrosive. So see, if, when you open it, see a lot of steam that comes out. That's to tell that it's highly concentrated. So. To cover my, I need to cover my nose and then take a little quantity and then measure out 3.0 cm cube of concentrated or HCl. Okay, join me as we go. Okay, you can see, you can see the steam coming out. That's the high concentrated how it is. That is 36 percent of HCl. So I'm going to take a little quantity. Of course, you can see the steam that comes out from this acid. You can see the steam. Okay, this is my measuring cylinder. So you can see that it is from 2 to 10. Okay, let me bring it closer so that you can see it very well. Okay, so you can see this. This is from 2 to 10. So I'm going to measure 3 exactly. So which is which is which is here, which is immediately after 2. I have I have one full one. One full one before four. So the between the two and okay, you can see our measuring cylinder. So I'll measure exactly at three. So you can see from two to ten. So between two and four, I have my three, three there. So let me bring it very close. So that is what I'm going to use it to measure out. So this is this is my HTL. I've taken a little quantity. So I have to pour this. I hope you can see clearly from there. I have to pour this, I have to measure out 3 cm cube. Okay, so, so transfer. So this is exactly at 3. Okay, so you can see it. You can see it. It's exactly at 3. Can I see it? So I'm going to measure this three quantity. Okay, so this is exactly 3 cm cube. Which I've calculated there. So I'm going to be using I'm going to be using 1,000 1,000 mil. That is a liter of water. That is gifted water or ionized water to dilute this acid. I remember acid turns acid turns blue litmus paper to red. Why base turns red litmus paper to blue. So after that, after diluting of this acid, we'll check if it or it will turn our blue litmus paper to red. So join me. So this is already three. So I'm going to take 1,000 ml of water. Okay, 1,000 ml. This is 1,000. So I'm going to measure out. I'm going to measure out 1,000 from distilled water or ionized water. So this is my distilled water. So I'm going to pour out. Uh, I'm going to pour out 1,000. So. Okay, so this is small, it's, it's almost more than 1000, so I need to reduce it. Okay, so look at it, just a little bit below the menu's cost. 
you need to observe it from the top and not from bottom because if you are observing from the bottom okay you'll miss it because of the meniscus so look at it very well okay this is almost above 1000 so i have to reduce it a little okay okay this is exactly 1000 okay you can see it now watch it so observe it with the meniscus you see it's already 1000 so this is 1000 that is a liter a liter is 1000 okay that's 1000 cmq or 1000 mil so uh i'm going to have if it this is this is uh 500 mil 500 mil of beakers okay this is 500 mil of beaker I think I'll be needing uh, I think I'll be needing uh, one of these. Okay, so we do one of these. So so I'm going to join you with this to turn it very well. Okay, to dilute very well. Have to dilute this very well. So this is already my three my three CNQ of what acid. Okay, measure out. So I'm going to. You, you don't pour water to acid, rather you pour acid to water. Okay, so I'm to transfer this inside there. I'm to pour it. So you can see it. Transfer it. Okay, so I succeeded in doing that. So what I'm going to do next is I am going to I'm going to turn this water. Please make sure that one drop did not drop from this on the process of on the process of turning. Then make sure that there is no drop, one single drop. Otherwise, you have reduced the quantity of the acid and that of the distilled water. So it will affect our calculation. It will affect our practical by the time we carry out our volumetric analysis or our, our titration. So please. Make sure you are taking, you make sure you take it very carefully, one after the other. Okay, so I'm going to transfer to this. Okay, okay. So this is the already diluted one. Um, I've transferred it to this container, and uh, this remaining one. So I will also look for another container and transfer it and label it in the AN as already uh, disclosed there. And uh, for we to verify if actually it's actually. Uh, mixed very well and diluted very well. So we are going. I'm going to test it with my. I'm going to carry out a test. This is my litmus paper. Okay. Acid turns blue litmus paper to red, while base turns red litmus paper, red litmus paper to blue. So I'm going to have a, a blue litmus paper. Okay. When I dip it inside this, if it doesn't turn into red, that means there's a problem. But if it turns out to be red, which means we have done a very good job. Okay, so let's see. I drop this. Good, it's obvious. Are you see it? It has turned this blue litmus paper completely to red. So that is to say that acid is present. So look at it, it has turned blue litmus paper to red. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Um, thank you very much. And uh, this is a um, this is uh, where I'm going to draw the cut. I I, um, I I hope I do hope we have um, um, we have enlightened you more on how to dilute an acid. And for science teachers in the uh, field of science, I'm sure you've learned a lot in this field. Thank you very much. Please um, join us in our subsequent class. Okay, we will be looking at our BN, which is our base. Okay, how to dilute our sodium hydroxide. And then the sort analysis. Okay, but then I'm going to take the uh, the base after diluting the base. Then we we'll carry out our titration. Please, it will be a pack. It will be an interesting one. So I will urge everybody all over West Africa, even the all over the world. Okay, especially in Africa, Nigeria to be precise. Okay, please join and the rapid tutors. Okay, world to. Um, uh, take little take little of our tutorials okay our science field science completely 
physics, chemistry, and mathematics. Okay, so this section we are already did, we are already done with chemistry practical. Okay, for YF uh, 2020 2021 uh, chemistry practical. So in our subsequent class, okay, we'll be looking at our base. So please do well to um, do well to subscribe to our YouTube channel and um, like our, like and share on our Facebook page. Okay, please hit on the red button. Okay, to give you more updates on when our next video will be, will be uploaded. Thank you very much and God bless you. If you have any question, okay, if you have any question to ask in the field of science, chemistry, physics, mathematics, okay, each of us, each of our tutorials, please drop your question in the comment section, okay, and then I will look at those questions and then uh, give you the solution to those questions on the next class, okay. Like I said, Mondays, Wednesday, and Saturday is always our class. Do join us and. Uh, uh, have a very good uh, tutorial and intensive uh, class. Thank you from all of us and Jerafe Genius Tutors. Thank you. See you again.